Hello and a good day. I wanted to do another tutorial about XGen because it's a powerful method to create hair and small tiny objects using instances which makes it powerful to render and uh, performance wise in Maya. It's a little bit similar to MASH, M-A-S-H, uh, uh, part of Maya which I really appreciate and done several tutorials about. Um, but uh, I ended up playing around with with cloth and mainly hair because it shows you many areas you can go, uh, go deeper into and uh, it's so so much fun really with only a few clicks okay let's create a polygon sphere which is here and we move it a little bit up because it will fall down mm, it's totally round and um, we will give it a shader namely a assign new material Arnold surface shader and we will choose one of the presets for example uh, you can't see this because it's out running uh, to the right side of the recording video recording uh, system here uh, but for example we have the balloon here and I replace this thing by a red balloon so that's uh, what it looks like. We need uh, a light in order to render it, but we won't uh, introduce the light right now. Um, instead, I'll pick this and I create N cloth out of it. Create cloth. That means I create cloth from that sphere. The sphere will be cloth. The uh, main node is here, and we have a nucleus here which uh, controls the gravity. And now this thing falls down. If you don't see it properly, uh, you need uh, to go to the timeline here, right mouse click and check the playback speed. Real time or play every frame free, which might make it very fast in this case, or what you can do as well, play every frame maximal is real time, so it won't speed up too much really. So this is real time here, I guess. And what we see already is that there's something happening to the to the sphere because it's a soft material it's cloth now okay let's col make it collide with with something uh, which is very easy too let's create another sphere make it much bigger move it a bit down go to the side window and uh, right mouse click select the faces I'm still in B mode soft selection that is I press the key B again so I'm in the ordinary selection mode and now we just cut off the top part of the sphere by deleting it um, go back to object mode and with this thing selected now I go to N cloth again and um, I don't find the, uh, the collider here but the passive collider yeah that's great this is going to be a passive collider it means it doesn't participate in the gravitation whatever thing it won't move when it's touched it will stay there forever but it will feel hard for the rest of the world especially the sphere which will come down from here which we will see in a second and I expand the uh, animation uh, time to say 500 frames so we see a little bit of more what's happening here so now the soft material is starting to kind of behave strangely it's it's folding more and more the further it falls down and now uh, it will feel the object below and fall into that tank uh, why is it black because the shader is on the outside let's click on it let's go to modeling because this is a mesh thing now and I think under mesh display you have reverse so now the black is outside and the gray is inside and here we have this little lamento the uh, red cloth which relaxes here let's click the cloth and check something in the attribute editor we have presets here can you see we're in n cloth shape and we have presets and you have to trust me again here we have airbag we have beach ball we have burlap exact uh, and uh, we have putty and silk 
uh, and let's go to thick well let's go to t-shirt and I click replaced you can't see this currently but uh, it's replaced the dynamic uh, features of this of uh, the red ball are now more or less by uh, made of cotton so it spreads more than it did before so that's what it does I think we can make this half sphere smaller and still have the same effect and we don't have to have it exactly in the center of the scene below the sphere we can move it slightly here and here so it uh, the sphere won't collide in the exact center okay so that's what it does next step we have that red dynamic soft cloth sphere now and we go to back to FX and now we create hair we just create hair on that sphere here is the hair N hair behaves dynamically it's in the same nucleus as the sphere here which is cloth so N cloth N particles uh, N constraints and N hair and cache which creates a cache for for rendering um, and performance in real time with very very heavy simulations they're all in the same nucleus system so if I reduce the gravity here for example that's a nucleus in the uh, in the attribute editor here's the gravity and wind and gravity direction I could uh, change this to well uh, so the gravity points to the left and down or whatever the air density could be thicker the gravitation could be lower like on the moon or half of the uh, gravitation here on the on the earth so the animation will run slower now because the gravitation is less so that's what we get now this tentacle thing which I think is a brilliant simulation and now it's time to um, change the color of the hair how do we do that well it's hidden well we need to pick the hair system here in the best way to pick it is in the uh, outliner on the left side typically in the Maya uh, window system uh, the uh, hair system shape is here here we have clump and hair shape before we before we go back to this let's go to shading and under shading we have the color that's that dull uh, dark well whatever color I don't like it uh, let's go for a red color here uh, because we have a red um, cloth sphere and uh, we can scale the color here by clicking for example here and then change this to a gray tone or whatever color like this you can see it already changes the it changes the color of the hair system now let's introduce a light let's create a sky dome light and it's certainly too bright so let's reduce the intensity from 1 to 0 0.3 and now let's render this these are the default rendering settings now of course you can change the hair the follicles you can make it even more dynamic or less dynamic you can plant more hair on this surface you can give it a ramp in order to make it bald on one side and uh, Arnold is finished has finished rendering now okay let's get a little bit closer here and do another rendering just for fun so that's very nice as well and if we go back in the animation and say wait until this object really collapses collapses 
It's not yet on the ground, but that's an interesting situation as well when the hair covers or hangs over here on the border of the of the collision object. And now what we'll do in our little game here is we'll introduce a, for example, cube. We can leave it at this size here, move it slightly to the left and to the front maybe and go to N hair and, oh sorry, N cloth and we create a passive collider for the cloth. I guess it's a passive collider for the hair as well. We will see in a second. Yes, it is. You can see the hair wants to go around that block. And now the cube disturbs the shape of the sphere very massively. Next frame, next frame. So our cloth will roll down now, slide down, fall on its top and finally land in the half sphere like before. So there's a lot of things you can play with. N hair, N particles. If you want particles as well, you could easily attach particles to say, say this object, N particles, uh, create, emit from object, and it will emit particles from the corners of the of the cube like this and they're all behaving dynamically they all fall to the ground according to the gravitation we just introduced and they will all interact you see they collect down there in the in the in the half sphere so it's raining particles now our soft cloth is somewhere down here we could uh, catch it there if we wanted. Actually, we could do this uh, as the final thing. We create a, a large plane. And make this uh, a passive collider as well. And we can start the cloth actually this original sphere further up like this so the hair can relax more simulations look much better of course like all 3d generated scenes when you render them with proper lights and here is the first shot I rendered you see the particles uh, shooting out and coming back actually because I introduced a radial field which collect recollects them to uh, a center and then the uh, the new par particles will shoot off again and return as well so the center is right in the middle of the rendered image now and the the, the hair system with the soft uh, balloon which is uh, cloth uh, are just about falling down and I rendered it uh, using uh, motion blur with Arnold of course so the next one is this uh, just before the collision happens it's a, a close-up uh, in the next uh, image uh, I introduced some blue light you can see it working in the back it's a mesh light actually it's the cube where the object collides on and um, I just turned it into a mesh light which doesn't uh, alter anything to the dynamic simulation so it's still a hard object for our soft objects but um, it renders like uh, a blue light now. So the next one is uh, it, uh, the assemblage falls and lands in, in the cup, in the half a sphere, uh, which I shaded with an Arnold, um, I think, uh, brushed metal shader. 
and uh, the particles are flowing around uh, as you can see and they make a nice effect actually I mapped the particle age to the color so the young particles are blue and the older ones are more white the next image I rendered is when the uh, 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 the soft uh, body and the hair um, kind of say bye bye to that uh, container here and uh, then here it lands on the ground and you see on the right bottom side that I uh, attached some grid lighting to the to the to the area light which comes from above the hot spot you see at the top of the uh, rendered image is the bottom of the container where the hair just came from and I think if I close this window the rendering is done for the last thing here the uh, objects land on the ground and I gave it a little bit more uh, the whole scene more ambient light and uh, there's less motion blur as you can see because the hair is pretty relaxed and the soft uh, body which is uh, the cloth and cloth in this case is quite relaxed as well I think the end cloth rests sort of uh, on uh, some of the hair which is below between uh, the uh, end cloth and the hard surface, uh, the gray surface at the bottom. So uh, have a good day.